Hi, my name is Lonnie, and my re research proposal is intended to prove that the public library can contribute to the wellness of a community by including health literacy services in its service model. Some facts about public libraries and health literacy from my research. Health information is generally considered one of the top five or top 10 topics of interest to public library users, and health-related questions account for as many as 60% of the total library reference questions. The public library is often the first place many people consult when seeking information on important health, health topics, such as health coverage, eligibility, disease prevention, and treatment. However, only 12% of the adult population has proficient health literacy. Nine out of 10 adults may lack the skills needed to manage their health and prevent disease. And research shows that poor health literacy leads to poor, poor health status outcomes. The case for, for including health literacy in the service model of public libraries, the content of my research proposal is, health, what is health literacy? How does health literacy affect communities? What have public libraries done so far and where are the gaps in services? I have a literature review, a research method, which will be surveys and interviews, some ethical concerns, and a conclusion. What is health literacy? Health literacy, the United States Department of Health and Human Services de defines it as the ability to obtain, process, and understand health information needed to make informed, healthy, and informed health decisions. Some examples of behaviors that demonstrate health literacy are choosing a healthy lifestyle, knowing how to seek medical care, and taking advantage of preventative me 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 measures. How does health literacy affect communities? It has been seen that there are more emergency room visits, more hospital stays, less adherence to treatment plans, and higher rates of mortality among low liter health literacy communities. What are public libraries doing now, and what are some of the service gaps? Well, pioneers like the South Philadelphia Free Library, which works in conjunction with the local health clinic, have created the Community Health and Literacy Center, which offers health, recreation, and library services under one roof. Most public libraries are still not equipped to handle the challenge of adding health literacy to their services. Many, several researchers that have contributed a lot to my research and to the field are Lily Liu and Ellen Rubenstein. They've conducted many studies into the intersecting fields of health literacy and public library policies and services. Mary Grace Flaherty, Michael E. Luther, Kathleen dangerfield Fries, and John Cyrus are a few other researchers that are conducting multiple studies specifically into the question about the what, why, and how of getting health literacy learning to communities by creating or leveraging the services of the public library. The research method that I will use are surveys, follow-ups, and interviews. A collaborative survey will be drawn up by the researcher, library staff, and public health administrators, which will be mailed to residents with each, within each of the public library districts. A follow-up survey will be sent three months after the initial survey return date. Follow-up surveys will, will collect qualitative and quantitative data, which will be cross-referenced and analyzed. Recommendations will be presented in the form of a paper. Some of the ethical concerns that need to be addressed while doing this research are confidentiality and information security first and foremost. Some are risks such as litigation against librarians and libraries providing literacy information, the potential of erroneous information, unreasonable expectations from patrons and confusion about the role of the librarian as a health literacy advocate rather than a diagnosing physician. And although it is against the library code, some librarians may have religious or ethical concerns about giving out certain health information. The overview, in the overview, the lack of public health literacy is a threat to all aspects of a community. The public library may be uniquely situated to support its communities in providing health literacy services, despite the variety of challenges that this service represents. The public library's mission is to support access to information and provide needed services to its local community. Working out how this service model can support health literacy is a critical step in fostering healthier communities and what my research is all about.